Hi there, my name is John Stevens, pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we're part of the ELCA, and welcome to Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where we take uh, item from the lectionary text, we take an item from the Dollar Tree, and we tie them to an item from the lectionary text. And it's been a long day. Um, this is for Christ the King Sunday and the narrative lectionary, and the, we're looking at the Jeremiah text, which is Jeremiah 29, some selected verses, verse 1 and 4 through 14. And um, the, there's a section in that Jeremiah text that I'm drawn to, and it is, um, God says, I let you find me. Um, and this idea that, that God lets God's self be found, and there's something really powerful in that. It's like, the, and so the direction I'm going is I am, I've got a puzzle book from the Dollar Tree. This is Finding Dora. And I'm gonna have a, uh, I'm gonna have a word search puzzle. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve the word search puzzle beforehand. So I'm gonna, and I can probably just rip out the word search puzzle because I just need the one when it's solved. But this idea that here is this puzzle that's already been solved. Um, and that sometimes we can view God, we can view um, all of these things around us that is something we have to figure out. That And if we don't figure it out, things are not going to go okay. And, and we're trying to really struggle with it. And yet here in God in this text says, I let myself be found. Um, and uh, I, I let myself. And I, there, there is just good news and grace found in that verse, in that text. Um, and so whether it be that this, you're al it's already solved and that you can, your brain's like, hey, we're going to do this word search puzzle and you bring it up and you're like, wait a minute, it's already solved. And talking about how, um, how all that God comes to us and brings these, um, brings, I don't want to say answers, but there's this sense that God reveals God's self to us. A lot of heady stuff that won't exactly go this way with the kids, but um, and s or, so you've got that, or the other option is that you don't solve it, but you know, you know where everything is. You've gone through it. Maybe you can pencil mark where the, where the words are and that you can help the kids find them you, and that you can help the kids and guide the kids and that, that how when God reveals God's self, there's a sense that, that we have, we have someone um, providing direction for us and um, that God's grace for us and as um, people gathered around the cross and the empty tomb, that, that we find that guidance and that grace and that mercy and hope in, uh, in Christ. So, um, so that's the direction I'm going. Um, I'm hoping it can be a springboard for your own thinking around your children's sermon. And uh, as always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a fantastic week.